SketchUp is one of the go-to software for modeling and visualization in fields like ArcVis and interior design. Its compatibility with other software and versatility is great, but when it comes to the final results, it usually requires the use of render engines. That's why in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the most important render engines that you can use with SketchUp to take your work to the next level. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Me personally, if I think about a render engine for SketchUp, the first thing that comes to mind is V-Ray. V-Ray is one of the most versatile render engines out there because people use it for ArcVis projects, design, game development, and VFX for TV shows and films in addition to other stuff. It supports both CPU and GPU and hybrid rendering to try to be as efficient when it comes to resources as possible. It has unique viewport rendering, which overlays direct on top of any other software. And in the case of SketchUp, you can actively make decisions on both small-scale details or large modifications to the entire project even in the last seconds. In terms of freedom and versatility of options, when it comes to tweaking parameters and settings, I think V-Ray is the best. It literally has so many options and settings that can make your head spin. But if you need something simple, there are some ready presets that can get you what you want on the fly. It has three subscription options, ranging from $37 USD for solo, $55 for premium, and there's also Enterprise, which is essentially a discounted version of a premium for five seats, which can be used by studios, firms, and so on. But if you want another option, which is more tailored toward ArcVis and stuff, you have Twinmotion, which comes as both a standalone software and as a plugin. It can be added to a plethora of software. One of them is of course SketchUp. It is actually made for all sorts of visual media including architecture and product design. Once you install the plugin, you can essentially link any of your SketchUp files to it and it will open a separate window where you can interchangeably work on both programs. If you don't have time to start everything from scratch, you have access to a vast library of assets, whether it be static or animated. This includes characters, vehicles, and lights. I would add to that the fact that you have the option to control the weather, in addition to other stuff. It also gives you the option for easy bridging to Unreal Engine in case you need it. And it is compatible with VR, which gives you multiple render options, including things like panoramas. When it comes to pricing, it will cost you $500 for a license, but you are mostly paying for commercial use as the educational license basically offers the same exact features while the trial version only limits the export and resolution of your final renders. On the other hand, Inkscape is quite similar to Twinmotion, I mean in the manner in which it operates. It is used in all design stages, but what stands out when it comes to Inkscape is its ability to render in real time and its compatibility with VR headsets. Another one of its gimmicks is how it is designed for larger scale productions by larger teams with systems such as the annotation tool used to provide feedback, as well as the BIM information mode which displays all BIM data available on any given element. And much like the other software, there are multiple subscription plans ranging from 40 bucks per month for a single seat and a floating license for multiple seats at $68 per month along with a free educational version. We cannot actually make this video without talking about the fully integrated render engine designed specifically for SketchUp called RenderIn. It gives you the ability to use GI, a real-time preview render, and continuously updated media library. All this is while managing to deliver great renders in a relatively short period of time. The program will set you back $225 US for the base version and an extra $112 for the upgrades. Me personally, I don't think that it is the best option, but you can see for yourself and see if it is worth it. Now, in the second part of this video, we're gonna talk about external software or standalone software that can be used with SketchUp, and we're gonna start with Lumion. This software has been a popular render engine for architects for quite some time. It is compatible with most major BIM and modeling programs such as SketchUp, allowing you very swiftly to import and synchronize your project, making it a breeze to integrate into any workflow. That's why, in my opinion, people find it useful 
in addition to being easy to work with. Generally speaking, it has great rendering capabilities, especially if you want something on the fly, which is something you and me want often. And just so you know, Lumion comes with a rich library of customizable textures along with assets and models for all sorts of vegetation, furniture, and even down to food items as well as pre-made filters and render presets for your convenience. Another great selling point for Lumion is its ability to sell the atmosphere for any scene thanks to its unique weather effects in addition to realistic skies and daylight systems. And it is only made better with the recent integration of ray tracing, making lighting in the software much more realistic and depending and according to the needs of the project. But this comes at a price, because a one year subscription will cost you between $1,000 to a few thousand dollars. But do you know what is not very expensive? D5 Render. D5 might be the new kid on the block, but it is not messing around. It is compatible to Lumion in terms of workflow and ease of use, even implementing ray tracing before Lumion like a couple of years prior. So it will set you back exactly $0 for the base version, and you can pay an extra 30 bucks for the Pro version and $59 for the Teams version. But those only allow you to access a larger library of assets or just give you access to extra quality of life features, for example when you are working on a larger production, or if you want to have extra perks such as VR compatibility. But interestingly enough, the free version gives you access to a library of 2000 assets, which on of itself is a lot. But the interesting thing, it doesn't restrain the rendering quality. You can export in both 16K for images and 4K for animations, which is really interesting. It offers a vast array of weather effects such as snow and rain. And with ray tracing, you can bet your lighting is gonna look fantastic and as great as it can be. It has some of the best refraction and reflection physics on the market today. And it supports photorealistic rendering and you can do that in real time, which can save you a lot of headaches. I think this is an amazing option for broke freelancers or maybe students, that's why I can't recommend it enough. But it's not gonna be as affordable as the next one because it is completely free and amazing. I'm talking about Unreal Engine 5. The number one feature of this software is that it offers dynamic global illumination and reflections that most competition struggles with. So no matter how massive or small your scene is, it will look coherent and highly atmospheric. One thing that it can render extremely well is any form of photorealistic urban plan, as rendering an entire city with most CAD software is a logistic nightmare, thanks partially to its ability to build assets internally. You can even procedurally generate audio for your animations. So, using Unreal Engine as a render engine for SketchUp is most appealing thanks to the endless number of assets which can be found in the 3D warehouse. And ping-ponging between the two can be mutually beneficial regardless whether your project relies on Unreal Engine as a primary base to build a game for example, or just as a tool to enhance your presentations or visual design that you create using SketchUp. On a side note, we would like to address SketchUp as a transition point between other CAD programs and render engines. Because it is very common to export models from other BIM focused programs like Revit or IKCAD for either adding interior or exterior design elements from the 3D warehouse or use it for texture mapping, since SketchUp gives you a lot of creative liberty in this regard, along with its compatibility with a larger array of options in the market. So guys, if you are interested in one of these render engines, you can find all the necessary links in the description down below. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.